Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome to the Irony of Gaming. And I just wanted to um, make a quick video on the whole recall situation. And I'm sure if you uh, you guys must already know that uh, within the, there were a few updates that happened where a few characters had their skills and specific abilities you know what their stat stats wise has been changed I guess you could say it was like a few nerfs and whatnot and what the devs wanted to do is that they because of these nerfs they gave us an option to recall the unit and exchange them for another SSR unit um, the interesting thing about this too is that should you do anything about this and you wanted to recall the unit oh oh well and one thing is like if you want to recall the unit um and if they're you know of course if they're not in a party or anything like that what, what it'll do is that it'll read the resources that you used would be um basically sent back to you it'd be all refunded so that so anything that you use for their levels their limit breaks their skill trainings and their lifetime contracts along with the alternium reactors so all of those materials that you would use for that specific unit would all be refunded back to you not only that but then you can use the unit to a, you could exchange this unit for another SSR that's in the pool that's available to us um, at you know wh whichever ones that are available to us in the general pool now the interesting thing about this is you want to be careful is that if you do have multiple copies so let's say for instance um, Rafaela let's say if they were like us uh, three separate units what I suggest is you would take those three separate units and you would add them into the tactical update because depending on how much like let's say the, the unit that you're going to recall depending on how many tactical updates that you had on the unit will also equal to as many SSR units that you can select so in this case here um, my Rafaela I already have a maxed out Rafaela and this the Rafaela that I have here she's maxed out because back then um, this was back before we ever got the the uh, you know the new origins update when they did the whole overhaul of the game um, back when we had the original UI of the game they were we were able to use multiple copies in order to um, upgrade the levels of the units but when I ended up getting the copies within the season pass because she was in the season pass and they would give us like, you know, like nine copies or something like that. <clears throat> it was like an absurd amount. And what I did was since we knew that the I guess like the update that was 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 um, coming or whatnot, I ended up saving all the copies because once the update didn't happen, I was able to immediately um, max out her tactical update. But then I was left with three extra copies and I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with them. At one point I was thinking about, you know, selling them. But then I was like, wait, something was telling me just to keep them because maybe, just maybe, you know, the, the devs would develop something to, you know, give us, the, make us have a use for those extra copies. And it looks like that day has happened. And so what I ended up doing was I... I basically used the other two copies and fused it into this unit so that's what you want to do you want to if you have any extra copies that you that you just don't need then it I suggest that you I highly suggest that you um, you know use the tactical update first because what ends up happening is if you end up using the recall on a unit on the, like I say a unit like this and you select the SSR that you want you that that's the only time that you can do it you can't do that to the other copy as well so once you use that the other copies will just be useless after that because you can't do it again so it's only one time per unit so because I did the update here you just go to recall and as you can see I can now select up to three SSR units and the SSR units that I'm going to go for is I'm going to go for Morgana because I don't have Morgana. And I'm going to go for the Pirate Crew because I do not have them.
think the other one was Tali, right? I think she was a sniper. Yes. Actually, hold on. Just in case, I did. I just want to check something. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I didn't have the uh, the unit already, which doesn't look like I have her. Okay, this that's perfect. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so basically that's what you that's what you'll do. Just um, you know, fuse the copies together, and then you could just recall, and then you get your free units. So that's Morgana. Going to choose Sonia and Tali. Awesome. Then we just recall. And then you'll get this warning sign here. Where, you know, it just says, hey, you know, resources going to get returned. And then uh, employee's gear will be returned to your storage. And, you know, everything will be replaced to level one. And the number of replacement employees you can select will increase depending on the tactical update level. So you just say, okay. And there you go. You get your units. <laughs> 1등 포격수 달리에요. 선장이 여기 가면 모든 부서도 된다고 하더라고요. 어? 아니라고요? 아, 그럼 그냥 가도 되나요? 난 소녀 빌. 겁 없이 사는 해적. 취미는 회뜨기. 저쪽에서 낚시하고 있을 테니까 필요하면 불러. 뭐야? 약해 보이는 사람이네? 어쩔 수 없지. 여기 머무는 동안은 이 모르가나님이 지켜줄 테니 감사히 여기라고. Nice. And there we go. Three free SSR units. So, so remember guys, don't forget to, to, you know, fuse those copies together. And then, you know, for the tactical update, and then do the recall, and then you'll get more SS free SSRs on here and then as you can see here if I were to just go to tower there are no more Raffaella's no more copy Raffaella's just the one that I have here that's maxed out but that's because those copies were basically exchanged for the new units so I'll be leveling these units up later on but um yeah so I hope this um, video was helpful to you guys, and if you liked the video, feel free to leave a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to leave a dislike. But I'm out of here, guys. Stay chill, and don't fear the Reaper.